What's up, guys? It's Brian again from Lake Kicker Scuba Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way, you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now, I'm back here in our classroom. A lot of you guys have seen this in plenty of our videos before. And in a two weeks' time frame, I will actually be back here teaching an ITC program. The ITC program is simply the instructor training course. As an SSI instructor trainer, it is my job to train new dive instructors. And the ITC program is a great program. You're going to learn the methodology of how to teach. You're going to learn a little bit about the scuba industry. You're going to learn about standards and where to find them. You're going to learn about teaching manuals and how we relay information to students so that you can be a successful instructor. Well, unfortunately, being a successful instructor does not necessarily make you a successful professional. To be a professional in this industry, you've got to be able to bring more to the table than just some fancy teaching skills. Yeah, you can be a great independent instructor. Unfortunately, SSI does not allow independent independent instructors you've got to be affiliated with a store and unless you happen to be a shop owner like myself you're gonna to have to go and apply for a job at a store somewhere and to be successful or to be able to bring more to the table is gonna hopefully help you land that job or that dream job that you're wanting well I'm gonna show you today one of the things that you need to consider when you go to apply for a job and why you should be open to always wanting to learn more even once you've got that instructor card so we're going to change locations real quick. We're going to come out of the classroom. We're back here in our workshop. This is where we work on all our equipment. You guys see this in our videos. You'll see me standing here at the table doing some stuff. Um, but I've got a system set up here, and I want to explain why the system's here and how it can apply to you to be a successful professional in the industry. First of all, I've got a bunch of tools laid out here. I've got several different full face masks laid out here. I've got a first stage. I've got one of the new Neptune 3 second stages that goes with the new Neptune 3 mask from Ocean Reef. And I've got three computers set up. Now, they're set up for a very specific reason. You'll notice I've got a service manual up here. I've got a Zoom meeting or a Google Meets meeting here. And then, of course, I've got another computer back here that's going to be the actual classroom part or the digital books that I've got to have for my class today. You see, I'm a certified technician. I'm a certified technician for multiple uh, manufacturers, such as Mares. And, of course, I'm a certified technician for Ocean Reef, among others. But even as a certified technician, that does not say that I can work on equipment forever i have to continue my education and constantly do recertifications for both mares ocean reef and the other manufacturers that i can service well today happens to be my recertification class for ocean reef now due to the recent pandemic system that we just went through our recertification classes are pretty much done all online now we have to have virtual meetings with the gear manufacturers just to make sure that we know exactly what it is that we are doing and they're going to go through step by step recertifying us on how to work on dive equipment in this case ocean reef dive equipment so today i'm getting recertified to be able to service their first stages recertified to work on all their neptune series including their new neptune 3 mask and of course this is just for your guys' safety and, of course, my knowledge as well. So how does this apply to you after you become an instructor and you go to apply for a job at a store? Well, you got to be able to do more than just teach scuba for that store to really bring you in. When I bring in new employees, I ask them, hey, what can you offer Lake Hickory Scuba? You know, I've got dive instructors here. What can you do that they can't? All of my dive instructors here are certified technicians for at least one gear manufacturer, and they are also uh, visual inspectors for scuba cylinders. So they have something that br they can bring to the table more so than just the teaching part alone. Now, how does this benefit your students? Well, if you're out in the field, you can actually diagnose and fix problems in the field if they come across a problem with their students' equipment. So this is just one of those steps that you may want to consider if you're thinking about becoming a dive instructor and working in this industry, you might also want to think about becoming a service technician as well. Now guys, I do want you to remember this. Being a certified technician is not going to guarantee you a job out there. Being a dive instructor is not going to guarantee you a job. But the more tools that you have in your toolbox and the more skill sets that you have and that you can provide to a potential training center out there, it's only going to help you become more successful and be a better professional as well. Now I'm actually just going to give you a little bit of taste of what a certification class in this 
genre is like. I'm going to set the camera down. I'm going to let you see just little clips here or there of what we have to go through for recertification and what you're probably going to have to go through to become a certified technician. And then, of course, I'm going to give you some final thoughts towards the end of some other things you may want to consider before you try to become a professional in this industry. Okay. Uh, so, so what's the first thing that you will do? Just so I don't lose them while I'm doing the rest of it. Okay, so you got both the rings out. I'm going to take it all the way off. I'm just going to take it maybe halfway on it, on the shaft itself. And that's going to allow me to push on it, which will also allow me to get my demand lever out. Now, the, uh, you know, one of the things that we as a technician should understand is uh, the position of that wedge. Right. Uh, it, has a, it has orientation. Do you remember what's the orientation? Yes, the flat side goes out towards the adjustment knob. Okay, not completely, but okay. maybe yes. The, the main reason is the following, and let, let me explain it to you. If this is the normal position of a diver in the water, yep. you will see that the pressure inside the mask Mm -hmm. is created at this level. Now we can change it with a more stronger spring, but that also means that in a normal diving situation, it is more difficult to breathe. So the situation now here is that if we turn the adjustment up completely in, at some point we can feel so there you go guys that's kind of what a technician course looks like it's basically you're just sitting down with the lead tech there and he's walking you through step by step as you can see i was able to get i've still got to put this mass system back together this is the one i'm actually getting tested on as well but i was able to play with the new neptune 3 second stage uh, so hopefully i'll be getting my certification on that and be able to service them as well but like i said if you are a dive professional or a dive master assistant instructor instructor even instructor trainer like me and you want to be more versatile to whatever shop you're going to work for have an extra skill set get out there take a technician level course and learn as much as you can especially for the dive instructors maybe you're out there teaching a full face mask class and your students full face mask tears up you can diagnose it in the field if you got uh, the repair parts there you can repair it in the field and get that diver back in the water as safely as possible but i really hope you enjoyed this video i hope you learned from it i hope it encourages you to get out there and continue your education as a diver and your education as a dive professional as well if that's the pathway you're headed down but guys if you liked the video big thumbs up definitely share it as well as always make sure you follow us on instagram and twitter like us on facebook pin us on pinterest subscribe to us here on youtube and as always guys we appreciate your business.